Hello Divination Ad, welcome. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to style an inline login form for a custom global header in Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the very first thing we need to do to create our header is to come over here to Divi and click on Theme Builder. So this is where we're going to design our main header. Next, we're gonna come over here to Add Global Header. Click on build global header. And what we're going to do in this example is we're going to build it from scratch. So I'm gonna click on start building. So before we add any elements in here, I'm just gonna close this and go to our main section settings. So over here, we're just gonna add our color. Now, by the way, you can add whatever color you want, so it doesn't really matter. And uh, if you want to add it as a gradient, you can always come over here to the second tab click on the plus button and then you can start choosing your colors here for your gradient. So I'm just gonna go with uh, this color here like that and then choose my second color like that. And then I'm going to come over here to my gradient direction and set it to 48. And I also need to add some padding. So I'm gonna click here on design, spacing, and my padding is going to be on the top and on the bottom. So I'm gonna come over here. This is gonna be 10 pixels top, bottom, and I also need to add left and right. So this time this is gonna be 20. So 20 left and right, 10 top and bottom. Great, so now that, we have the, uh, now that we have that all set, we also need to add some CSS code. Now this CSS code I'm going to add is very important because it makes our custom header more responsive. Okay, so we're gonna come over here to custom CSS and add our CSS code here. Now, if you wanna use the exact same CSS code that I'm uh, using, uh, or if you wanna use the exact same um, styles that I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so now that I have this all set, the next step now is to add our header logo. So I'm going to save this, and then I'm gonna click here on uh, this plus button. I'm gonna add single column, and in that column, we are going to add an image. So I'm gonna search for my image module here and select it. Now I'm gonna choose my logo. So I'm gonna click anywhere over here. And this is the logo that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna click upload an image. And you can see now my logo has been added. Next, I'm going to go now to our spacing. So click here on design spacing, because what we're gonna do is we're going to add margin to the right. And this is going to be 20 pixels, and then we're gonna save. Next, we're going to come over here to our row settings. And uh, the very first thing we're gonna do is to click here on design sizing, use custom gutter width, we're gonna say yes. And then we're gonna reduce the gutter width here to one because we don't want any spaces on our columns. Next, over here, I am going to set my width to 25%. Row alignment, I'm gonna align this to the left and I'm gonna add a padding of zero to the top and the bottom. So I'm gonna click here on spacing and I'm just gonna add zero both to the top and the bottom. Okay, so great. So, so far everything is looking okay. Now we're going to add an inline login form on the second row. So I'm gonna save this one here and click on this plus button to add our second row. So for our second row, we're going to go with the single column as well. And uh, in there, we're going to add a login form. Okay, so in this column, we're going to add a login form. So I'm gonna select it. And uh, we're going to delete all this um, information that we have here on our form. Get rid of the title as well. Now for this login form, we're going to add a CSS class. I'm gonna come over here to advanced, CSS ID and classes, and I'm gonna add my class in here. And then I'm going to come over here to my custom CSS. And where I need to go is in the login uh, description CSS box. And I'm gonna paste this CSS code. So now you can see that uh, things have changed now on my settings. And then I also need to add uh, some CSS code and make this with 100%. Now this CSS code is going to go into the login form. So let's go into the login form and add our CSS. Next, I'm also going to add some CSS code to the login fields just to uh, make them a bit smaller. Now, I know we're using quite a lot of CSS code here, so if you wanna use the exact same CSS code and follow along step by step, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna save 
The next step now is to add some CSS code to our header layout to target this area here. So I'm gonna click here on my settings. So now I can click now on advanced custom CSS and paste my CSS code in here. And now you can see things have changed a little bit here. So we're gonna save, and then we're gonna go into our row settings. So as you can see here, I don't have access to my row settings. So what I need to do is to use the layers and I can just open that and go into this one here. And let's go into our settings. So now we're gonna to go to design sizing, use custom gutter width, we're gonna say yes to that. And uh, we're gonna reduce the gutter width here to one. Row alignment, we're gonna set this to right. And for the padding, we're gonna set it to zero, both to the top and the bottom. So I'm gonna come over here to spacing. And I'm gonna add zero to the top and the bottom. So now we are ready to go in and customize our login uh, form. Okay, so what we need to do next is to uh, add, I mean, remove this color over here. So I'm gonna click here on background and use background color. I'm just gonna get rid of that. Or another way you could do this is coming over here and just adding transparency to it. And then that just gets the rear, uh, the background uh, off. Okay, so uh, moving on, we're going to now go in and stylize this, um, this area here. So I'm gonna click here on design, and then click on field. So the first thing we need to do is to first work on the field's background color, which is right here. You can see it's white. So we're gonna click here on this eyedropper tool and then drag the slider down a little bit because we're going to add tr tr some transparency. Now I'm gonna add my values in here like that. And I'm also going to uh, add my field's background color. I'm gonna set this to white. So I'm gonna go to my recent colors here and choose white. And then over here, I'm gonna do the same as well. I'm gonna choose white for my color. And now we can see it's easier to read. And then moving forward, we're going to also add the text size. So here we're gonna set this to 14 pixels. Text alignment, we're gonna align this to the right. And then uh, we're also going to change our, our font here to Lato. So I'm gonna search for my font on the top here. And here it is, Lato. Now for the button design, um, I just need to scroll all the way down here to, to the button and here it is. And I just need to activate use custom styles for button and uh, add my button background color. So here it is, I'm gonna click on this plus button and paste my color in here. Next, I am going to change my font here to Lato and select it like that. And my button size needs to be 15 because right now it's a bit too, it's a bit too much. So there we go, it's slightly smaller now. Okay, so the next step now is to uh, remove the border. So I am going to just come over here, border width, and just get rid of that. And now I'm gonna go in and add some button padding. So I'm gonna scroll down here until I find my button padding, and this is gonna be two pixels to the top and the bottom. Activate my chain, and now you can see it's pretty much almost the same size. And then I'm gonna also come over here to my margin bottom and set this to 15 pixels. Now let's head over to our padding. And here we're going to set this to zero, top and bottom, left and right, like that. In fact, we need to remove that 15 to the bottom. There we go, so now everything looks better. All right, so pretty much that's all I need to do here. I'm gonna save now, and then it's time now to add a menu over here. So I am going to um, go to my second row here, and I am going to add my menu. And the menu I'm gonna add is pretty much going to be my main menu here, but if you do have a different menu, you just need to click on this drop down and choose your menu. Next, I'm gonna come over here to my background, and I need to remove the background, make it transparent. So uh, as you can see, I can't read my text, so I'm gonna come over here to design, uh, and then I'm going to change my colors. So I'm gonna set this to white because it's easier to read on this dark background. And I'm also going to come over here and set that to white. The font is going to be Lato, so I'm gonna click on this drop down, choose Lato. And the menu text size is going to be 16. So I'm just gonna nudge it up a little bit. Text alignment is going to be right. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down here and set this all the way to the right. And you know what, my text over here, we could, you know, we could uh, make it bold. Yeah, now that looks much better. 
So what you could also do is to uh, align this um, uh, login item here to the right so that it's above the, um, the menus. So pretty much once you've done that, you just save it and uh, this is our final design. So I'm just gonna save this now and take a look at our website. So make sure you uh, click on save all changes and now it's time to have a look at our website. So I'm gonna open this in a new tab like that. So pretty much this is the final design. So we have our login here and we also have our menu here on the bottom. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.